everyone, I'm Jasmine and today I'm going to show you how to paint and design from the Cricut Design space onto a concrete tray. The concrete tray I'm using is available to purchase in this solid gray color on our store www.stargazerlilyboutique.com. The link is in the bio. For this project, you will need a cutting machine such as the Cricut Machine or Silhouette Cameo. I will be using the Cricut Explorer Air 2. You will also need a concrete tray, stencil vinyl, masking tape, a weeding tool, acrylic paint, makeup sponges, a fine point paintbrush, and a concrete sealer. You can find links for all the supplies listed in the bio. Our first step is to create a shape for our stencil. Open a new project and add a square to the design space. Unlock the shape and set it to the size needed. Since I am using the concrete shape from our store, I measured the inside rectangle. To match the measurements, I will need to set the shape to 4 inches by 3 and a quarter inches. Next, I'm going to add a circle and set it to the same height as my rectangle. Then duplicate the shape and place it on the other side. Lining up the circles to the sides of the rectangle, weld the shape together. Measuring the full length of the inside of the tray, adjust the shape to match it. I have to change the length to 6.5 inches. Next, upload the files you will be using. The Cricut Design Space has various designs, some free while others are available for a one-time purchase. Pick a design from the space. I am using this design. Separate the layers, welding the ones that are the same color together. Okay, time for a pause. Uh, you'll notice going forward the second stencil I never used. I had some issues moving forward with this project that I wanted to share. You'll notice the second stencil with the black lettering that I ended up discarding. As you can see, I tried using masking tape to keep my red layer safe. When I try to line up the stencil to layer as I've done with stenciling on journals, I found the masking tape made it impossible to easily line up since I couldn't see the red paint through the layers. Eventually, I had to change my plans. I also realized after I had given up that the paint was too delicate for even the masking tape. Some of the sections peeled off, so I had to touch it up with red paint. Unfortunately, not all projects work out as planned, but it's always a good learning experience. Now back to the project. Cut your stencil vinyl to the needed size and place it on your Cricut mat. Set the dial to custom and select the stencil vinyl setting. Weed out the design using a pair of pointed tweezers or a weeding tool. Since my design was completely attached, I did not need anything to transfer the stencil. However, your design may be more complicated and need it. If you need something to help transfer your stencil, using masking tape, lay it on the stencil then remove the backing. Line the stencil to the tray and press it flat. Using a makeup sponge, pick some of your paint and paint the tray with a stamping motion. Once the shape is completely painted, remove your stencil. Since I realized I couldn't use the stencil for the cursive writing, I decided to hand paint it instead. Using a fine point paintbrush, I carefully painted the writing with black paint. With the painting complete, I set my tray to dry overnight. With a damp makeup sponge, apply the concrete sealer over the design in the thin layer. I set the tray aside to dry, then apply the second coat of sealer the next day.
And our project is complete. One concrete tray with a little flare added. If you don't have a Cricut machine, I am planning on selling painted trays in the future, but they will not be made to order and will only be listed as they are painted. So look out for future listings on the Stargazer Lily Boutique website. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to see when we upload more tutorials. Thank you for watching.